All right, so there are a few things that you as a seller might be doing that really frustrates your real estate agent. And I just wanna kind of talk about those because a lot of times um, a real estate agent may not even mention it to you, but let me just kind of help you with this. First of all, sticking around um, for showings. This is not good as a seller. You need to disappear for the showing so that a buyer has freedom to look at your home and really, um, make sure that they love it and talk freely with their agent about it. Um, then leaving the house a mess, not tidying it up. This really will hinder us getting an offer on the home. So please make sure you tidy up the house and you make it look the best it possibly could for showings. Um, becoming really greedy. Um, maybe your, the offer is $5,000 less or $10,000 less than where you wanted. Um, it could be a really good offer. Listen to your realtor. They really know what's best and what's happening in the market. Don't become greedy and miss out and end up being on the market for another, you know, 150 days because you didn't take a really good offer. Um, Overhyping upgrades. Um, what you might think is an upgrade may not be an upgrade. Um, you might love the idea that you have, um, you know, upgraded the carpet with this really fun plush carpet, but there may be a possibility that the buyer um, has really bad allergies and plush carpet's not good, so we might not want to put that in there. Um, or maybe, you know, you think an upgrade is having a pool, but not all buyers love pools, so there's a way to put it in there, but we might not want to really, really focus too much on it. So we want to, as real estate agents, we're gonna guide you in that. Um, don't make promises that you're gonna do repairs and then not follow through. Make sure that you follow through with the repairs. This is important. These are all things that help the agent to help you get your home sold. And so these are things that, as a seller, you wanna make sure that you're taken care of because it really does frustrate us if you don't do these simple things. And um, so hopefully this helps you um, know how to navigate and be one of the best sellers out there for your real estate agent.